Um, Minister, I sincerely welcome this chance to debate apprenticeships here in the Dáil this afternoon. Uh, but the picture you present covers up the reality for too many apprentices struggling uh, with the current system. In the course of the next eight to ten minutes, I will tell you about some of the feedback we've had from them. The fact of the matter is that the government is in denial about the extent of the chaos in the apprenticeship system. Failure to get to grips with the backlog is having a hugely de detrimental impact on apprentices. Right now, 8,208 apprentices don't even have a start date for the classroom training. They need to progress or complete their apprenticeship. Almost half of all craft apprentices are in this backlog, and four-year apprenticeships are taking five to six years to complete. This means they cannot advance in their apprenticeship or become fully qualified tradespeople. It's completely unacceptable to say that this disruption is caused by higher levels of registrations or that the additional capacity cannot be put in place overnight. In 2016, the Apprenticeship Action Plan set a target of 9,000 annual registrations by 2020. We are still below that target and the system is in disarray. So blaming young people for not taking up apprenticeships doesn't really wash. We have recently heard from 350 apprentices. Now, one electrician apprentice said, apprentice said almost three years at it and still haven't gotten a call from Solace three years of a supposed four-year apprenticeship and will be at least another three years until I finish. Metal fabrication apprentice from Limerick said, uh, in my fourth year, still waiting to go to phase two of the job training. An apprentice electrician from Mayo said, the lack of support for me as an apprentice through the pandemic was shocking. I'm going into my sixth year since registration and I'm now only in phase four. I got no increase in rates of pay, even though all these delays are out of my hands. It was over two years from when I left phase two until I was called for phase four. I feel disgusted about the whole system, to be honest. They're not my words, they're his words. The frustration out there cannot be overstated. Many apprentices told us they feel a complete lack of disrespect and that no other students would be treated in this manner. An apprentice electrician from Loud said that the backlog is a disgrace. People signed up for a four-year apprenticeship and now it, can be, now it can be six years. How about you tell that to college students doing business or law and see what the uproar would be? Another apprentice told us that at the current rate, I will be in my fifth year, but still capped at third rate, uh, as my employer will not pay me any more until I'm qualified. A mechanical automation and maintenance uh, fitting apprentice from Tipperary said he should be qualified two months ago. Still no sign of being called for training. Won't be done now until next year. I now ask for a qualified rate, which means uh, five euro an hour in the difference. Essentially, 5,000 euro down at least this year. And that's only if I finish by the end of the year. There has been and will be no changes or improvements made to the system. Thanks to my delay, I've had to turn down jobs and I can't ask for a pay rise as I'm only an apprentice. It's a mess and I can't do anything about it. Draining. The effect of underinvestment in the backlog in the system is, is, is only 1,798 uh, apprentices became fully qualified tradespeople in 2021. That's close to 600 fewer than in 2020 and represents the lowest number of newly qualified tradespeople since 2017. And I, with my colleague Louise O'Reilly and Sinn Féin, have been calling for emergency action to address the backlog for over a year now. Despite government announcements about investing in the system, we know that the government spent less on apprenticeships in a whole of 2021, that was 150 million, than in either 2020, which was 156 million, or 2019, which was 159 million, despite the increasing numbers in the system. People are being trapped on lower wages due to the backlog in the system. Anger and frustration about the backlog is matched by stress and desperation about the cost of living. Between the cost of tools, travel, college fees, childcare and rent, many apprentices are barely able to get by. One apprentice said, I cannot afford a car with current price, prices, insurance prices and fuel prices, so I have to carry a 25 kilo tool bag 
on public transport for two hours a day. An apprentice carpenter in Limerick, asked, uh, when asked about the financial pressure, said he had to cut groceries and home heating. Was frozen all winter while I was working 40 hours a week. I've been an apprentice since November 2020. Still don't know about college, still behind on money, and the cost of everything is rising all around me. An apprentice plumber in Wexford said, between petrol and diesel, Buying my own tools, standard of living has gone down massively since starting my apprenticeship. Some weeks I can't even afford a can of deodorant. Motor mechanic in Kildare said, I feel, a young person, uh, I feel as a young person and as an apprentice that my country does not want me to be happy living here. I want to qualify so I can immigrate and live somewhere where I can live happier. Ireland is a hard place to live as a young person and even harder as an apprentice. Especially first years and particularly with rising fuel costs. Imagine working two days to pay for fuel, to put in your car, to work for five days. Former carpenter apprentice in Donegal said, young men and women are struggling. I, as well as many others, have had to drop from our apprenticeships because of the increased uh, price of living. And that is the real danger. Apprentices are being forced to drop out. An apprentice hairdresser said, I live with my mum and dad, but I pay rent to them. Heating has gone up significantly, and once all my bills are paid, I'm lucky to have 50 euro left. If not for my mum and dad, I, I would have had to stop already. An apprentice from Mayo said, only for my family and several personal loans, I would not be able to manage, and I am truly disappointed with the whole system. These are the lucky ones that have support. Apprenticeships have always provided a pathway for young people into training and into the workforce that, might not have had, that may not have had other options. Minister, you should abandon the misguided plans to dismantle the craft apprentice model and focus on investing in the system. Apprenticeship workshops and recruitment of tutors needs to be fast-tracked as a matter of urgency. Sinn Féin would allocate an additional 52 million to the apprenticeship system with properly measured outcomes. Apprentices need additional support. One simple measure your government could do is scrap the college fees for apprentices. This would put a thousand euro back in their pockets and take the pressure off, off, uh, off them. We also need to look at how we support apprentices in the first couple of years when they're at their lowest wages and have to purchase tools and get set up. Minister, it's time to listen to apprentices. It's time to deliver for apprentices. And it's time to treat those apprentices whom we say are so important with the respect they deserve. Our future prosperity as a country depends on them.